All right, so before we get started today, Sleep Sheep has a new job at 8 p.m. Central European time. It's very, very pretty, pearly over sleeves. So if you want to get that or any other accessory, make sure to hop on their site. And you can use my affiliate link if you want. You're also helping the channel while you're at it. And don't forget to use my code SHADOW so you get 5% off your entire order at checkout. And uh, for today's video, uh, it is featuring my uh, still very, very bad health. Um, as you can hear, I'm still very sick, so hopefully this doesn't bother you. But um, yeah, we're going to be going over how to beat rescue ace. So to sort of be on the topic of the ban list and the new format and all of that, Rescue Ace is going to be a very strong deck moving forward. So I figured I would pinpoint a couple, I guess, some um, interactions that you can have with the deck uh, where you can disrupted and hopefully you can beat the matchup because it's kind of awkward to do it and we will get into that but there are a couple cards that are really strong against it as well so if you have any of your own ideas for how you can beat it make sure to comment them down below and also if you like this video make sure to let me know as well i love doing these how to beat videos so if they help you i would be really glad to hear that so the cards that i said are very impactful the first one is going to be ash and the best point to use it would be on emergency they want a special summon from the deck obviously it gets most of their plays going so you want to ash emergency but why i also said it's sort of awkward to deal with the deck is because you have an um, targeting negation which is really strong against it but emergency is actually the card that's sort of going to help them play around your cards so <clears throat> you kind of want to use it if they already used emergency and if they have it um it kind of sucks so essentially how it works is you want to negate turbulence because this is the one that sets four and it just gives them a lot of advantage and it completely loses to targeting negation. But if they have emergency, they will just chain it because on resolution, they'll be able to get rid of turbulence and it actually resolves. So a little bit awkward, but these two cards are the most impactful, Ash and like Veiler or Impermanence, whichever of these two. And also with Arise Heart Gone, it's great that you can actually run Veiler and not be afraid of having it in the Kashira matchup, which is just amazing. So these kinds of cards that like pigeons us to the graveyard and stuff are going to be strong again, which is great for the future format. Moving on to some other cards. The next hand trap is going to be Nibiru. I wanted to mention it because like it is not that great against the deck if they don't go for the terahertz line. If they go for the dark fluid, you can use it and it's going to be impactful because usually they will try to go for that line if they are afraid of evenly matched, which is another card that's really good against the deck. They wanna get to the desave worm in the graveyard because it's going to be able to negate a spell or trap card or effect. So Nibiru is very decent. However, um, if they don't go for that line because some people decided to not go for it, since Nibiru is probably going to see a lot of play because of Unchained, then your Nibiru is kind of dead. So you need to sort of decide for yourself and see what they are doing, maybe in game one. But the standard plays can be more safe and they won't actually play into Nibiru. Now, another hand trap is uh, Phantasme. I kind of need to sneeze. All right, so Phantasme is the next card. I did want to mention it. However, I would prefer playing evenly and these types of cards where you kind of shouldn't control any cards for them to have any kind of impact so phantasme is going to clash with evenly but you can use it since they are probably going to go for a link and they kind of like they want to get their stuff in the graveyard so they want to go into a link monster now what are you actually searching for it's kind of awkward because you want to ash or imperm the first couple of plays which is before they actually have a link on the board so you're not searching for those cards with your jaws, you want to get to, for example, a book card, which is decent since uh, they have like these rescue ace monsters on the board and their trap cards actually need the rescue ace monsters to be on the board, very similar to tier lemon cards. So if you book of moon them, they don't have a name anymore and uh, those are, would be the cards you're looking for or maybe Nibiru if you know they're going for like a combo line, you could say. So Phantasme is okay, but it is clashing with Evenly, which I keep mentioning. So now we got to this card. Evenly is probably the most impactful card in this matchup if they don't go for the terahertz line because you get rid of all of their resources and actually banish them face down, which is so important. 
if you go for some background removal, which is also nice, that would be Harpies and also Lightning Storm, they still have their resources in the graveyard. And if they play the headquarters, they are going to be able to shuffle them back, draw, and also get to them again with Turbulence. So at that point, they have too much advantage, probably. So, background removal is okay, but evenly is much better. If they go for the terahertz line, you can still try to bait something, but they probably know they're trying to, you know, negate evenly, so your bait might not work. That's something to keep in mind. Now, let's talk about the Ibli line. Ibli is also okay in the deck, but I say only okay because the second Ibli sees more play, people are going to play around it. And there are ways of playing around Ibli. So if they give you an Ibli, what you can do is book cards are still popular, so you can try to book of moon or book of eclipse the Ibli. You can also like tribute summon over it if you play like Bishios or something like that, any kind of monster that has a higher level. There's that. And also you can just play Linguity Bow, which would probably be the best thing because then you can also negate their Chap card since they sent Chap cards with Turbulence. So Ibli is fine, but like if the community starts to be prepared for it, they will just not play it anymore. So that's it when it comes to the Ibli line. And like actually preventing the Ibli line for ha from happening would be like with using Ash and targeting negation and all of that because they want to get their initial plays going to actually get to Ibli since they want to put monsters on the board, go to Pazlumino, uh, reduce the level and make gigantic sprites. So at that point, you probably already used some kind of negation. Like you're not actually waiting to negate gigantic, I assume. Like if you have multiple... Uh, you know, disruptions, then sure. But you still want to probably just negate initial plays because at that point they're not even getting to Ibli. For some going second cards, we already talked about book cards. They are decent because they need to have names on the board, like specifically Hydrant. For the most part, they want to have it so their uh, chap cards get additional effects. But as for other going second cards, Super Poly is nice because all of them are fire, so you can um, like remove all of them from the field, which is again great because of the trap cards having to like actually have rescue ace monsters on the board to be able to be like activated. So if you remove all of them, that's amazing. And when it comes to removal, you can actually play like Dark Hole, Rageki, Kaijus, Lava Golem, Kurikara. There's a couple cards that I'm throwing out there, but you need to keep in mind that since you're trying to side for many different matchups. Ash and Impermanence and all of these cards are much more generic, therefore much more useful in other matchups as well. So like there are options for you if you want to play like these removal cards, but uh, you kind of need to decide for yourself if you actually have space in your main or side deck. Now let's talk about some floodgates. Going first, uh, there can be only one is fine, obviously. And also Grave of the Super Ancient Organism is stopping their plays. And I guess Summon Limit could be mentioned as well. But these ones are like, they are okay. They are going to stop some plays. But Rescue Ace has a lot of utility in the extra deck. So they are probably going to be able to actually destroy your floodgates. So please don't rely on them. Try to back them up with something else or have multiple layer disruptions so you actually are able to prevent them from like building a board or breaking your board. So I don't want to mention some of the going first cards, but like they are not incredible if they are not paired up. And the last thing I wanted to mention is the great thing about them actually setting cards you know is that you can play around them. And of course, I'm speaking about the turbulence effect. Usually their board is going to be the set for turbulence and then like an additional thing. So if you know you're actually playing around like negation, destruction and all of that, you can sort of like adjust your place. I'm not saying it's always going to be possible, but at least you know what you're dealing with. And also something to keep in mind is that they still play a lot of non-engine. They have like around 9 to 12 spots. And usually what they would be playing is Ash and Permanence. Also Nibiru and book cards. So those would be the ones you're trying to play around. And also talents can be seen played in the deck. So yeah, those would be the cards you're playing around and sort of like having to keep them in mind. And that's actually going to be it for the video. Hopefully you learned something and uh, hopefully I covered most of the stuff that you can use against this deck. And I really wanted to talk about like the stuff that's actually like generic enough to where you can cite it for other matchups. I guess a quick summary would be just use Ash on Emergency, targeting negation on Turbulence, but keep in mind that Emergency is a thing, Evenly is great, and Backward Removal is also really strong, and all four of these are generic enough, um, which is great. 
so yeah hopefully you enjoyed and if you like the video of course make sure to like it as well let me know all of your own ideas for this matchup in the comments down below and i'll see you in the next one bye